Conor McGregor's $150,000 Gucci Mink Polar Bear Coat Conor McGregor, Irish UFC fighter known for his extravagant and flamboyant style, may have officially topped himself. Conor McGregor isn't one to keep far away from showing off his expensive lifestyle, but his latest Instagram post is receiving some major backlash for featuring Gucci coats made from real fur. He was on to say that he's currently storing them during an outsized freezer, a tip he says he learned from Donatella Versace at British Fashion Awards, which he's planning on leaving them to his kids as he expects they're going to be worth a hell of a lot in years to return for showing off his Gucci Minkos that cost him up to $80,000. They are now even more rare and iconic as Gucci have since discontinued all animal product clothing from their line. McGregor wrote within the caption, the full Gucci look was inspired by heavyweight boxing champion Smokin Joe Frazier, who wore an almost identical look to his pre Mohammed Ali fight news conference in 1974. McGregor is clearly well known for his outlandish, sartorial taste. At the Toronto news conference, McGregor wore a three-piece pinstripe suit, with the phrase fuck you embroidered because the stripes, but also for his cringe-worthy insults, like when he dissed 50 Cent Thursday night. Whether to taunt his competition, American fighter Eddie Alvarez, or just give praise to the man behind some of music's best looks, Alessandro Michel of Gucci, remains to be seen. In the meantime, might we propose watching McGregor slam his two-time champion heavyweight belt on the table? The press conferences were flashy, needlessly so. Bags of money were produced, balls of money were thrown within the air. There were accusations of racism and homophobia. Overall, it was a spectacle, one which tons of individuals tuned in to see, so we guess the press conferences were a hit there in a sense. The choice of attire from McGregor within the first conference caused a touch of a stir with the subtle, fuck you getting within the pinstripe of the suit. But his clothing choice at the third news conference is what really got people talking. He rocked up to New York wearing a custom Gucci mink coat, with the Italian house's signatures, snake embroidered on the back accessorizing his estimated $30,000 coat with 1970s-inspired brocade Gucci pants and matching red turtleneck. He soon tossed aside this turtleneck, however. According to Billboard, the entire ensemble costs within the region of $150,000. Figures released in the CSO Yearbook of Ireland 2016 show that the average wage is your $45,075 for someone working full-time in Ireland. So that's the guts of three years of your wages to try and mimic the notorious, who we know can afford such extravagance. In November of last year, McGregor wore a similar coat to a pre-fight press conference with Eddie Alvarez. The look was a homage to legendary boxer Smokin' Joe Frazier, who wore the same look ahead of his fight with Muhammad Ali in 1974. Received major backlash for real fur. The post is getting major backlash from a number of his followers since the coats were made with real fur, which Gucci does not include in its designs. People for the Moral Treatment of Animals wrote a letter to McGregor on Wednesday during which it urges the MMA fighter to donate the coats to its fur amnesty program. Visit Insider's homepage for more stories. Conor McGregor isn't one to keep far away from showing off his expensive lifestyle. But his latest Instagram post is receiving some major backlash for featuring Gucci coats made from real fur. He goes on to say that he's currently storing them during an outsized freezer, a tip he says he learned from Donatella Versace at British Fashion Awards, which he's planning on leaving them to his kids as he expects they're going to be worth a hell of a lot in years to return. Though McGregor appeared to be celebrating his purchases, many of the comments he received were but congratulatory. Conor McGregor has been accused of showing poor form in boasting online about his one-of-a-kind Gucci fur coats. After seeing you promote your fur collection during a recent social media post, I wanted to urge in tune within the hope that you're going to consider donating the clothes to Pettis Fur Amnesty Program and joining the ever-growing list of fur-free stars. Peta director Alyssa Allen writes within the letter provided to Insider. The letter goes on to elucidate what the coats would be used for should McGregor make the choice to donate them. We would put them to good use in our academic displays so as to tell people about the grim fur trade, Petter wrote. Alternatively, we could give them to refugees in war-torn countries or people sleeping rough. The sole people 
that have any excuse for wearing fur during this day and age, or use them as bedding for orphaned animals. Representatives from McGregor and Gucci didn't immediately answer insiders' request for comment. Well, to be honest, as a star, he should support PETA because when you are at such high place, people seek motivation by your actions and sometimes even follow your footsteps. With this, we come to the end of this video. What are your thoughts on his Gucci Mane polar bear coat? Let me know in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Hit that like button. See you soon in another fun video.